Lena said I'm gonna be better dressed than the casters. I did I did dress up for this. I'm I'm gonna be a I don't know if you know this media is like I don't know if you know who you're really talking to right now, but I'm kind of a big deal. I'm actually gonna be an official caster in one of the games today. So you better show some fucking respect. Yeah, I saw that tweet. Wait, you are looking fairly dapper. I'm I'm in my debonair arc right now. Sneaky the, the the men are talking right now. We need we need you need to show some respect. Oh? Huh? Oh? Huh? Oh? Really Holy! Yeah, Holy! Take I'm gonna take off my pants right now. Time, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Right? I don't give a fuck. Really see oh. Which teams are oh my make god, the most he is at this studio. Which teams are be first what is going on? To be able to out what oh, you know what, guys? So I don't know. If, I don't know if I can stream. And we are getting into pick and I don't know if I can stream with you guys because like my shit is hella delayed because like I have like the the feed from the LCS and they like artificially delayed it. Okay, you know what? Fuck. There's no way to do it, guys. I have to dip. Good luck. I'll okay, miss you bye guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Peace, bro. Good luck. They hear the stream through Discord when I unmute it here. No, there's no way to desync it. There is actually no way. No, I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss the boys. It's a, it's a tragedy. Did Sniper just pick Riven? Nah, no, guys, Riven is so bad though. Riven is so not strong right now. Sniper is on the Riven. We. I mean, honestly, both these champs are so useless outside of lane. I could almost see Riven being useful. Like, dude, and I'm telling you guys that Yon stole the fucking, the Jin tech from me. Okay, now I can tell you guys, because TL is already playing. Core, Core messaged me on Discord a few days ago, and he was saying, you're right, Jin is OP. Like, what do you think the best matchups are, blah, blah, blah. And I gave him a little bit of, I gave him a little bit of my, you know, my opinions on it. But I think a lot, like, a lot of the players were not super hot on Jin uh, until very recently. What the fuck was that play by them? They just walked in and took a shit ton of damage. Um, Yon will carry this one. I, I do think, with my blessed knowledge, that Yon and Core will be able to make something happen. And of course, older brother of Viper, how's it going? It's great, man. I'm really very nice to see in front of my face. Yeah, and honestly, being able to watch your brother kind of following your footsteps Ooh, in his first debut. Ooh, big honor, damage right what's there. Your expectation? And do you have any, like, like ever since he... You know, wow, they're out, getting zoned from the melees on, 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 on level one. This is really rough uh, for 100 Thieves bot lane. The off season, um, for hours and hours Wait, what'd you say? So oh, I need to change my scene. You're right. I'm sorry. See how well he does. I think he's do great. Ari. Um, and oh. I'm six see it. I'm Hell yeah. I don't want to take too much of your time then. Thanks a lot, Viper, 100%. And let's get to watch. Oh no. If I do this, you guys can't hear the game. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I've got, I've got this. I've, I've fucking got, got this. Just kind of going about their normal fights. And Sniper is just trading very aggressive. I don't think Udyr is easy to pilot in team fights either. I actually think Udyr is quite a useless champ in, in 5v5s, but I, I am not. He's up on top side, so he's trying to keep the wave off his tower. And I haven't seen enough of it, but ma oh man, Meech is playing very badly in, in lane. Like, that, that was not a hard one to hit. Sniper and Impact getting so incredibly low here, pushing him off the wave. And a couple seconds ago, you could see there was an assist me ping from 100 Thieves here in the Herald pit. Ed, Ed, and Eddie like made this? way onto the rift. And it's very early focus. As oh, Halo shit. Halo's dead as fuck. One more shot. Let's go. And that's it. The first blood for Team Liquid. Meanwhile, Upti's taking the objectives on the other side of the map. 100 Thieves wanted to intervene with him. Wait, APA is getting it's fucked as well. He's, 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 he looks pretty dead to me. Oh, never mind, never mind. He's not dead. Uh oh, dude, 100 Thieves bot lane is getting pounded. What is going on? He's gonna be able to grab all the grubs there and flash in and get that two. I think I might have started a Jin Revolution, guys. I'm I'm pretty sure everyone in LCS should play this champion. It is really not that easy. It is not very hard to pilot Jin. That's why a boomer like me can do it, and uh, I'm telling you, the champ is not balanced. Okay, so I'm thinking after this game, I'm gonna do it so that the the crowd doesn't spoil, but like we can still hear the in-game sounds. You know what I mean? Like, cause like right now I'm doing it like with the live stream, so it's like desync from the crowd. 
the support still last hits all the cannons like you would expect from previous times. Here oh. comes the curtain call. Fire oh. range opens up. First shot goes oh. wide. Next two hit. It's a mega inferno bomb coming in from downtown. They want to get Ayla low and then go for the execute damage. They Q, Q. Oh, Q on the minions. Oh, my God. He actually could have. He actually could have. Oh my dear lord. Hunter Thieves bot lane is not having a good one, I tell you that much. They are not having it. I can't tell if like, like, how fucked Hunter Thieves really is, because... Like, on one hand, TL's bot lane is winning really hard, but on the other hand, Karma Seraphine is like, not... He's gonna that base again, upset to be feeding, to if that makes sense. Like, that's probably one of the best bot lanes to be feeding on because you're just gonna take a backseat to the game anyways. So, I mean, even though their bot lane's getting gapped super hard, Hunt of Thieves has strong mid jungle. And their comp is really, really hard to play against, I would say. They have some... But most they have, they have some very, very insane CC chain with like yeah, Vi yeah, ulti, Seraphine ulti, Yone ulti. Well, I just think Udyr is going to be that procs after it. So that in addition, if you can get that first kill, 150 move speed, pretty powerful. Amplified by the boots of swiftness. I know two oh. things about players and that arrow gets a feel. Ayla, like one, Ayla was four. very fast to react to that arrow. <laughs> it wasn't from Vision either. It's going to make sense. We'll see how it plays out here for him as we continue moving on. The arrow just barely missing there. A little bit unfortunate for TL. But now 100 Thieves are taking a chance. They oh. APA goes up the wall. APA looks fucked. He's just Omega dead. Oh, Quid messed this is Q3. It's okay. I mean, I played Yone. I'm, I'm, I'm quite the Yone enthusiast myself. Wait, what's going on? Is Hunter Thieves gonna back? Oh, they're getting TP behind. They're getting TP behind. Impact, Impact, and Riven both TPing here. Oh, what's happening? Nothing, nothing. Just a neutralized TP on both sides, and someone TP. Someone's gonna get fucked off of this. I think Impact loses more. He he lost the top wave off this TP, but. More members there. When Yon and Cork came in, I thought it would be a couple kills for sure going their way. But at the end of the day, I actually agree. I I, th I thought that Hundred Thieves was going to get collapse on. Yeah, exactly. I would love to play Seraphine right now. That would just be so fun. I love this double support item meta between AD carry and support. I think it's just so epic. Oh, beautiful stuff. Barely getting the vial. Yeah, I predict. I definitely not predict that. That's completely worth, man. Fourth shot for ult, or fourth shot for flash. In solo queue, he was playing all kinds of like Fled and Ziggs and Cassio and these champions that were not very prevalent. Um, and he is really well respected. Ow. Vi is actually doing a considerable amount of damage to River here. I, I'm actually kind of impressed there, right? Like, I, I thought Udyr was going to do literally zero damage, but no, he's, he's pretty relevant right now. River and Quid, yeah, I've heard I've heard their synergy is actually really good. I mean, it makes sense. Mid jungle with, with uh, Korean speaking synergy would do way better. I mean, like, that's absolutely just expected when quid quid his rookie split and he's more comfortable in korean um he won't one of his great synergy with closer as he does with the uh, korean speaking jungler who can communicate plays preemptively and plan stuff out with them they, they i've heard that that 100 thieves does play heavily like mid jungle synergy which is great like that that is actually how you should play the game you know, when they don't have Quid doing a lot of damage when he is not there, they don't um, have yeah, I feel like I feel like APA could have probably won a defensive item, probably should have went Seraphs and tried to survive. Like he has the gun, he has the Monka gun. It does more damage, obviously, than Seraphs, but like he might just be one shot every fight. Um, people like it. Mentioning how if Quid's not there, it's hard to move. These compositions are so scary if they can death ball five men down a yeah. lane, but if you separate the enchanters from hey, the animation, what'd you say? Then you're not going to have a functioning composition. Exactly. Oh, okay. Just got a couple Krillins in the side. The top of my head? What's he gonna do? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
He doesn't want to show my bald spot. It would be really cool if Sniper won his first game on LCS playing his his one trick. That would be sick. If he doesn't TP, they're not contesting. So, you know, they are fishing around a little bit here. But he is just going to commit to that bottom tower. So it is going to be Harold giving over. River going to have to get out of the pit. And we'll see. Hunter Thieves threatening an engage, but River will just disengage. I think they wanted to keep him interested, trying to delay impact from going back towards that bot side to answer the push. Won't be any tower damage really done here by Sniper, but he will at least deny a couple Yawn. That's what it seemed like to me. Is really Yawn with the opportunity. I actually really don't like that item much on Jin. It, it, it makes sense in some ways because it gives move speed, but in, in other ways it actually doesn't really make any sense on him because you just kind of want to be doing the most damage possible. The gold stank style, he just has to be there to enable all the damage that he has from his mid lane and his bot lane. Oh my god, he missed cannon too. But impact CSing is not like crazy right now. They they both both top laners are honestly kind of starved on farm, I would say. Shouldn't be one level ahead of the enemy ADC or your own ADC as a solo laner. You should be like a couple levels. Oh wow, what a sick play by River. Why would APA flash that? Silly, you silly man. You silly man. Oh my god, Hunter Thieves is rolling this game. Seraphine is just so disgusting of a champion that she can just sit there and carry this hard, but this is exactly what I'm saying. Like, like ADC is just such a useless, disgusting, bad roll. Like, ADC is just so useless that you can get fisted in lane, you can go, you can have fucking 7 CS per minute. You can, you can just completely misplay, but because you're playing like Seraphine Karma, you can just sit back, go double support items, and get carried. But like, are wow. Double TP coming in. You can see the communication on point. Wow. Both the Yone and the Ribbon TPing and arriving at the exact same time. Oh my god, Umti just ran it. Uh oh. Jin's not looking very useful right now. Jin is not looking the most useful out there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's because his teammates are, are blowing it, though. I wish I could um, understand Yone a little bit better, because one thing I've always been very confused about is... Oh, Ayla had to flash out, and Mikhail's. Wait, River? River might be fucked. Never mind. Oh, that was so much damage. I actually really do not... So, like, Yon went Serpent's Fang, right? I really do not like getting Serpent Swing on range champs. It's half as effective on range as it is melees. Korean ADC solo carry most of the games? Yeah. I mean, I know that we like to masturbate over Korean AD carries, but... Oh, wait. Sniper, Sniper making a play? No. He's not making a play. He's... He's running it down on Luke's side. If you watch, if you watched LCK games, you would know that ADC is completely useless. When Gumi, Yushi, and Kiri are completely invisible on Lucian, Nami, or did they play? They played Lucian Milio. Um, you know something is wrong. Something gone horribly wrong. Pushing in mid lane here, trying to knock this one down. Ooh, the arrow flying in. River very importantly. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the like desync between the crowd and like other things pretty soon. Wow. I think that Seraphine is such a fun and cool champion. Haha. -ha. I think I, I, I'm pretty much always just default going collect your Lord Doms on, on Jin. It's just so, so strong to have 40 crit on that spike. Sniper thought he was making montage. Oh. 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 Sniper no flash. They could chase. Sniper is probably dead. On next stun, I think the arrow. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. I think. Wait, maybe not. No, he's dead. Done. Dead. Oh no. Sniper's lack of experience is definitely showing right now. Oh, APA really needs to stop flashing when he's dead 100%. That's very silly for him to do. TL want this fight, maybe. TL's still coming around. 
I'm still thinking about diving in, but surely he has to remember what happened. Arrow up soon. Of course, probably Chris thinking about it, but not up yet. Right Who is Meech? Uh, he was the AD carry for Disguised Gaming last split. He played with Zazel, and um, apparently he was one of the better um, AD carries in Academy. So him and Masu <coughs> are both playing in LCS now. Um, and yeah, it's just interesting. To, Punch through impact. Kind of like see how well they're gonna do. Oh my god, uh, TL's like very scattered. Like look, look, look at their positioning. It's all, it's all just like kind of like one spot. And Hundred Thieves is flanking from so many different angles. Quid on the top side, sniper on the bottom. I think I think Hundred Thieves. If if Team Liquid walks in here, if Team Liquid walks in for the fight, Hundred Thieves will ace them. I can't imagine an, another outcome. Hundred Thieves has far superior position on this fight. Wait, River? Yon, oh, not not Yon, but Meech completely missed this ulti on a on a vile target. It's it's actually it actually looks like TL is gonna win now. Meech missed Meech, Meech missed an ulti on Yon who who was vileted. That's crazy. Oh man, he is he is nervous. I I, I think he's just very nervous. That's a Pretty critical mistake because TL is sole point now. Yeah, and 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 River flash ulted for that. River was ulting in. We can't really fully commit to it. Oh no. Yeah, and Quid Quid was Quid was taking the hex gate as well, but a bunch of things went wrong there. Oof. If Quid was there, if Quid was there, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was rough. This becomes a very different fight here. It's four minutes until the next one of those spawns. Baron is ready to see everybody. Just thinking about this topside river for now. Being a river, doing a really good job using these short vault breakers to dodge away from CC oh. or buffer through it, even if he's going to be hit. Oh, now, oh my God! Jin damage, dude. This is just crazy damage. Last ulti, go. I think TL wins this. I think TL wins this. Sniper's trying to go in, but he's just, he's just one shot. Oh my God. Oh my God, Tail's gonna win. Tail's gonna win this game. Riven is just as useless as I remember her. Riven is actually just so hard to play in these team fights. She's, oh my God, dead. Oh my God, and B Zonia's, oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's so rough. It's so rough. 100 Thieves needs a miracle now to win this game. Yeah, 100 Thieves just haven't been perfect on those engages. And if you're not perfect on the heart purchase for both him and um, uh, sniper just sniper just cannot play this game. That's what I think. Oh wow, Yon has a hubris now. I feel like usually you get that item a little earlier, but I don't hate it this game. He's uh cleaning it up. What's the general snipers destroying everyone in scrims? Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, TP mine. Whoa. Oh, TP mine. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Another. Oh my God. Oh my God. Another met. Another missed Seraphine ulti off of the. But it doesn't matter. It's a crazy fight. Wow. So much damage. Just one millisecond. And I think Core actually can chase down. He's no flash. Holy. What a beautiful flank by Sniper, and, and just a, all around, everyone played that super well. That's everything. That's going to be control for Baron. Oh, what the? Oh my god, Impact! Oh. That was so close. No, they cannot end, though. I don't think Hunter Thieves should even try to end. I think they should just base right now. Because, because Yawn is about to open up. If Yawn opens up, he can kill someone right here. I think I think he can kill someone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, my bad. I, I think I might have baited him by saying that. He might have heard me. Oh God, man! Watching Seraphine's healing and shielding is so crazy. She's just such a ridiculous champ right now. And now Hunter Thieves denies Soul as well. So now the game is kind of flipped. 
I still think even from this position, I still think that 100 Thieves is, is like in trouble. Because they, they need to get that playoff on Yana every single team fight or they can't win. They, they need to kill him like that every fight. Is it, guys, guys, is it like not a thing to go crit on Yone when you can? I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like a complete, you know, like clueless backseater, but um, it's, it's more of just a question. Like, I understand why Orc and um, Iceborne would be good on Yone. It like fits his kit really well and enables him to play differently. But like afterwards, it's hard for me to imagine why it wouldn't be good to go something like Kraken Slayer IE or Bloodthirster IE. Right, like those items are also good on Yone, but but then you also enable him to get like the doubled crit value. It's actually more than double. It's two point five times. You get, you only need two crit items to be full one hundred percent crit. Let him cook. And it gives him pretty high sustained DPS. He can be connecting and look at the vision from hundred thieves all in this area, completely controlling that vision. But the hawk shot comes in. Pause. Obviously scouting out that bear, and the bear will go down very slowly because Quid is not even hitting it. Sniper is not even there, so it's just three men in that pit. But it is a very healthy Baron because you're constantly just shielding up River. Yeah. And TL at some point will be forced to go, and Sniper here hanging on the side. Oh. Wait, River? River is getting blown up. Oh my God! It's double. It's double of Jin. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Oh, Yon got his smited off. He got his thing smited off. Oh my God. It's it's over. It's over. It's completely over. Wow. Edge of Night is just useless against against uh, Edge of Night is just useless against Vi because Vi can just do that to him. Yeah, we, we fixed we fixed the um, the desync of stream and live now. I mean, it's it's over. It's over. It's completely over. Oh my God! And <laughs> quit ults again. Wow. Okay. Double Lift has played with or against almost 78% of all LCS players in history. He's been a part of six different teams, but today he's on the caster team. The GOAT of North America joins us for the LCS Finals rematch between Energy and C9 right here. Coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Hey, what's up, guys? This is my very first time, so I am... Uh... I'm a little nervous. You guys have to show me the ropes. I've never casted a game before. <laughs> It'll be easy. It'll be easy, man. How did, how did it feel watching, you know, all, all these current LCS pros talking about you, you know, realizing how, like, expansive your career has been? The fact that you've played with or against 78% of people who have played in the LCS, period. That's crazy. I, I honestly, I'm a little embarrassed. Like, I don't really, I don't really like being set of attention when everyone's glazing that hard. I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm like, you know, deserving of this, but I really appreciate the kind words. It's really, it's really nice. It makes me feel old when Master's like, I watched it and that's why I'm a pro. I'm like, whoa, that was that long when ago. When I was three years old yeah, in my yeah. cradle, I used to love watching Double Lift. Oh my God, <laughs> it was crazy. So you've got a unique perspective that the rest of us here don't have in that you were actually playing in professional matches on the stage against all these guys, even if it wasn't on these specific rosters last year. What are you expecting from this matchup? Um, honestly, I think like most pros would say energy winning the last split is a, it's a miracle run because of the underdogs. And in that way, like you would say, they overperformed, right? Like, uh -huh. and, and so are they capable of doing it again? Maybe, but I would say they really reached their peak at the right time. So super underdogs once again, I know that the, they're kind of like, have that chip on their shoulder. Like they don't want to be seen that way anymore. They want to yeah. be seen as a real contender, but C9 is the super team. So, you know, they, they have arguably best position in every role. It's cool to have you up here, man. I, don't, I can't believe we never cast a game because we've, we've been friends for a long time, talked for a long time about League, but never actually, I don't think I've ever cast a game with you, ever. I've, I've never casted a game, period. Like, it's actually really? very, yeah, it's like very scary because, you know, caster curse is real. And if you say something <laughs> and then it happens differently, you're like, ooh. And like, co-streaming, I'm notorious for being like, this should probably happen. And then that never happens. Something else happens. And I'm like, damn, my predictions are terrible. <laughs>
Hui is so, so criminally underrated, man. I, I feel like when he was on 100 Thieves, one of the things um, that he was criticized for is he didn't play range supports that well. And then when he switched teams afterwards, I think he joined Golden Guardians, he became, like him and Stixie were really good at the range support meta. So I think he's just like always a very adaptable guy. Mm -hmm. And um, he's been a top tier support ever since he started. And they were one of the best Lucian Namis, I feel like, for a while. They were, they were. Him and Stixie were like a bot lane to be feared, actually. I mean, I feel like that kind of just speaks to the origin of him being a support player to begin with. Like, transferring away from mid, you have to be willing to learn the different skill set and the different champ pool. And he just seems like somebody who's always down to be malleable for what the team and the game needs. One of the things that's really interesting coming in this split, I don't know if you knew this, Doublelift, is that only one team, TL, kept their exact same bot lane. Every single other team in the league either changed one or two members of the bot lane. So, like, how difficult is it? You obviously play with a lot of different supports over your career to come in and play with a fully different support. You know, is that something that is kind of over exaggerated or is it actually, you know, really to be expected that you're perform a lot worse? I actually think like the, the whole like idea of like AD carry and support synergy might be a little bit overrated by the community. Mm. Like I think like every bot lane is playing for the same objective and playing for the same sort of Let's just say like you're playing bot lane in a little, little mini game. Like okay. mini games being like pushing the wave and resetting at the right time, getting your wave in a good position for a gank, getting a good trade off. Every bot lane is like playing for this thing, right? And and so like really what matters is like player skill a little bit more honestly than than the synergy between your support because like the execution is so important. Just like the little advantages that you mm -hmm. get if your support does something differently. So I mean when me and Buzio started playing, our synergy wasn't that good, but also we just weren't that good. And then we Double got to whammy. a point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then and then we got to a point where we were pretty good in lane, and our synergy was really good. And I think you can work that up honestly pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, there's no real point to ganking top. Every time you gank top, you <laughs> enemy jungler gank, any enemy jungler ganks bot and gets Drake. So now there is a point. Oh, hold on. Ooh, energy is on. going in after Blabber. He might be level six, but he doesn't have his team nearby. He's got to try to get away from this one. Uses the Heartbreaker to get on out of it. Nice job by Jojo there, using the Emperor's Divide to knock Palafox off of the Weaver's Wall. But with Energy having shoved back the enemy jungler, made him use ult, made him use Flash, got him to 130 HP. It's a free first drink for them. Canyon like, is his jungle go, right? You know, it's like, this is his idol. So to hear some, some words of praise from that, I think it's really cool. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> I have met him in a scrimmage, and my opponent, midfielder Palafox, is powerful and seems like a genius. Okay, mid lane, speaking about Palafox, I think I think but he just cast Mr. Kirsten, <laughs> the soldiers mow him down. It's first blood over to C9. And at the same time, they got all, all six. six Void Grubs. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Google Translate might have been paid off by Palafox there. It's done crazy things for his brand. <laughs> wow, E man. Contracts going in over the wall now. Energy's gonna look for Vulcan here. He's already used Ooh. the flash, but a nice job interrupting the dredge line. Contracts takes the kill, but now he needs to be careful. Blabber's coming in, wanting to clean something up, but Energy's still ready to keep the fight going. Jojo's got no OT. Blabber's got no chance. FBI getting himself OT away, but canceled. Jojo takes him out before he can do it. Contracts now running backwards into the enemy base while top side. Fudge and Dokla are going all in. Dokla retreats back underneath the turret as the fight in the bot side blue jungle fizzles out. The kills rest at two to two. After the Rift Herald has spawned, how do you feel about being able to drive the Herald? Is that is that good or is that bait? Uh, I'm a horrendous driver in real you have life. Your driver's license. That has also carried over to the Herald. I usually drive <laughs> it in the wrong direction, so I'm just like into my own turrets on accident. I, I'm like, I need more practice. Like, if you guys have, you guys have must grief. Everyone must grief with the Herald at least once in their life because it's like so hard to figure it out. Or maybe it's just me. It's eighty. Lily has never played Scion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've revealed Scion yourself test. as a Scion hater. No, it's, it's so easy to accidentally jump into it. You jump into the Ferrari and it's just like zooming on <laughs> the wrong direction. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just jumped into the car and my foot was on the pedal. It's the ADC we brain. Going. You just have to click on things. Oh my God, that was a oh, that blind was really reaction by Berserker. He's so good. From the Blood Song. So if you get shielded up by the Melio, you have the obviously passive damage there. Vulcan and Blabber going in after the Cassante. Big Dokes in trouble, already nearly killed. He goes all out and wants to bring him back, but he can't do it. Blabber gets the kill. That was a surprise amount of damage from the, the Kraken proc at the end. I actually thought he might have gotten out. Yeah, I feel like the what's so confusing to me is like the early game didn't go how Energy's bot lane wanted. They yeah. just even out of lane, right? But then now you see Berserker bleeding farm and it's just because Lucian Milio has so much like control over mid. Mm -hmm. Berserker has to respect the fact that the, he can be dashed on on any single wave that he doesn't have numbers advantage. So that's making him bleed farm 30 CS over the last like 10 minutes. And it just kind of happened invisibly off screen. 
Vulcan going in after FBI with a TP ready to reinforce. Energy cuts bait and runs. They know there's no uh, way to save their AD carry. And C9 looks to be heading over to the Baron pit. Yeah, that is actually so bad. As there you go, first caster curse. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. Dude, come on. Hey, guys, I called this already, man. <laughs> the, the, playing Lucian mid game is so impossible not to die, man. <laughs> Your team is like screeching at you, like, come on, dash in, let's get some. Oh, oh. oh. Shoujo just dashed in. He's on a killing spree here with the Azir. The Nashor's Tooth Lich Bane build giving him so much burst when he goes in on these guys. Palafox didn't stand a chance. Now Dokla just trying to see if there's anything left to do, but they force him back so easily. Blabber and Fudge still on top of the Baron. Remember the contracts is around. That is what C9 is trying to prevent. They do not want to give this away with a steal. Dokla brought back. Blabber going on a killing spree. And now contracts cannot get close enough. They bring Blabber back into pit. Oh contracts goes in, but he shuffled right back out. Contracts really wanted to go in there, but C9 does their due diligence. They strike him down and they take the Baron. Man, I respect it. They are down 7K. Like, you can't just give up the Baron from that spot. I think it's probably lights out for NRG. So uh, he risks it all, tries to go in. The reason he didn't smite, it was still a 2K. Wouldn't yeah, have really done nice anything. Yeah. yeah. Who, do you, who do you want them to interview after the game? We're taking polls for that now. The fans yeah. are in control. Yeah, which C9 player would you want to hear an interview from the most? That's a great question. I feel like this game ever... No one stands out as like the guy for C9 right now to me. They just play better as a team. And man, I want them to interview contracts. I, like, I feel like he played the best out of all 10 players in this game. Which <laughs> Cloud9 player would you like them to interview? <laughs> well, I would say contracts. contracts. Technically, contracts was on C9. No, I'm it's like I, you can go through door A or door B and double up to jump yeah. through the wall. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> man. I don't play by the rules, guys. No, I, I, maybe JoJo. I always like hearing from JoJo. I mean, hey, He's a funny guy. You know what that just reminded me of is the I'm a gamer commercial. Oh, you remember that? Oh, that <laughs> that piece of history needs to be canned. That, that was a that's a classic. Yeah. That needs to come back. You know, right. I actually played Yumi for the first time like last year in a game with some friends, and I found myself becoming legitimately like confused as to what I was supposed to do because <laughs> I was just like, "Wait, I'm I'm just sitting there. Like, do I just go get a snack? Like, Have a drink? What's the play? Read here? a book? Yeah." I just be sitting there like, hey guys, I think we need a ward for dragon. Somebody better walk me over there right now because I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I don't know. It was, a, it was a very weird champion to play, but I, uh, I think when you play Yumi, the best thing you can do is just start back seeing your AD carry. Like when he misses his CS, be like, ooh, I oh. saw that. Or like if he like cancels an <laughs> auto be like, just, ooh, maybe you shouldn't play that champ Ouch. so much. <laughs> <laughs> Might get some more reps in on that one. Maybe, maybe some yeah. practice tool. I mean, that's all straight. you can do. You're just their cheerleader or their critic. Do you prefer the straight up <laughs> aggressive support? Or the one who's passive aggressive. Oh, aggressive for sure. Yeah. I'd, ra like, I'd rather they just play me. Passive aggressive makes me annoyed. But when they just you when miss they a say it, there's just a dot 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 in chat. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I already oh. want out of this one. That's a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting unpaused, so we are going to be finally getting back into the game. Let's go! I see us unpaused. Hopefully, this means it's going to be live for you guys. So we're back to it. Twenty-four minutes in. All right. Let's do it. Energy having to hold the line here as the tier three turret is pressured by a C9 with a nearly 9,000 gold advantage. Mid lane inhibitor already down. C9 having the Baron ready to go. Let's see if they can really just break through this base all the way right now. Palafox does still have the ulti available. FBI, there's that damage from the Azir you guys were talking about. A couple of soldier autos, and he's forced down to half HP. The calling comes out, but Vulcan with the engage immediately with a dredge line. Fudge and Jojo trying to back away as Vulcan may be killed here. Energy not with enough damage so far. A massive Sharima shuffle coming out, keeping it back. It's a one for one, a one for two. It's about to be more, and C9 have made their way into the base. They've only lost Vulcan. And the front line is decimated on the side of energy. Contracts and Dokla out of the picture, but C9 had to spend enough of their health to get it done that the game won't end just yet. Man, FBI has been getting rocked by this Nautilus. I feel bad for him. It's, it's not easy to play. What do you think he's, if anything, he's, he's doing wrong then? Like, is there a different way you would like to see him play in this situation? No, I mean, that's what that's the thing about playing Lucian, Nami, or Milio. Like, your team. It's not that your team is saying it, but your job is to like get in there, yeah. right? Because you have 500 range. Otherwise, if you're not getting in there, you're doing nothing. So it's so easy to have something like that happen. Um, I think basically the margin for error on, on Lucian Nami, Lucian Milio is essentially nothing. 
Yeah, there's it's no margin for error. It's tough. I mean, the engage was actually really good. The the wall from Palafox was really nice, but they couldn't get enough people into the back line to finish off Jojo, and that seemed like the problem, right? They committed a lot to try to get back there and kill him off. Couldn't make it happen. Blabber with the face check. Yep, not gonna get caught oh. there. Contracts so and Palafox wanted it, but. In about 20 seconds is when it's gonna get super hard because two super minions are gonna come through bot, one is coming through mid, and those are gonna be on the Nexus Towers. So energy basically has to engage. C9 just has to stand here and wait for them to go back and then they can step up. Fortunately for energy, the top lane wave is not synced up with these in mid and bottom, so they can rotate everybody over to deal with these waves crashing into the Nexus turrets, keeping both of those still standing, at least for the time being. But that first one took a beating, and Jojo is now trying to move up and do the same thing to the tier three here in top lane with Dopa already down to one third HP on Cassante. He cannot go forward any further. Palafox trying to clear things out in the top side. Jojo with a very defensive flash yeah. there. May have just been a misclick, throws up the thumbs up. I don't, yeah. even, I don't even think he was dodging to these W with that flash. No, it was definitely a misplay. Contracts going in. He wants Berserker. Berserker flashes away, and the Jarvan is already down. This should be the end right here. Fudge keeping the rest of energy zoned out. Contracts just looking for any possible angle. Every play is like a 1% chance of success at this point. And now with a 5v4 with another minion wave ready to crash into the top side tier 3. C9 is going to keep the aggro on. Vulcan and Fudge looking to lead the charge as Flabber jumps forward with a Spectral Maul. Won't find a target, but it does not matter. It's like you said, Double If, you don't even have to kill these guys. You can just for some back. Energy trying to see if they can wait the last 10 seconds for contract, and it looks like C9 is not going to go for the end just yet. I would love to see with the new changes to Baron. He has like all these different abilities. I'm pretty sure no pro player actually knows like what abilities are on what Baron. I definitely don't know. I would love to see like a Wombo. Oh, okay. Yeah, Horn has a lightning because it's a yellow horn and it looks like a lightning bolt. That's how I remember oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yes. want to see a wombo combo with the new Baron abilities. Oh, Contracts. Oh, just... Contracts just got wombo comboed by C9 as he tries to engage. Fudge here on the front line, but he's tanky enough to not be traded in response. Baron down to 5,000 HP. The enemy jungler is already down. There should be no chance of a steal. Blabber with a secure as Palafox drives through on the Weaver's wall. He's, uh, oh my God. He's <laughs> out. <laughs> Palafox with a cheeky exit, but the rest of energy now under pressure as Jojo goes golden and Dokla goes down. FBI survives with 100 HP as Palafox shuts down the Emperor, but he'll be traded back. Meanwhile, Fudge has decided the game has gone on long enough. The Udyr TP's in on top of the Nexus turrets as another kill comes through. Palafox is out. Only FBI left standing. 14 to 5, 30 minutes in. C9 takes the dub. And thank you. Are cool. Thank like you so that. much for coming on and casting with us. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, man. I hope you had this a good time really for fun. your first ever official Yeah, you killed it. You did great. Thank, yes. you guys, thank you guys for having me. Now, you guys carried as it. You got this um, young rookie caster here. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. making his way up. Making I'm his just way getting up. carried, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>